All right. And we're in. Exactly, Tom, exactly. The only reason I'm even on, relatively on time, is because therapy was changed to from yesterday to today, because he had something to do. And when I talked to him on the phone, he said, 1 o'clock. Okay. So he sends me the link. I go and do my author hangout thing with Wynn, good Wynn, and a couple people the coffee shop rush home through the freaking rain one o'clock it's like five out i sign in I'm like guys usually on on this time i relook on my email and it says three o'clock like well i was gonna I, was, I thought i was had one to like you know 1 30 then i would jump on here at two but i'm like i'm not waiting until four o'clock might as well just jump in and just get a page done Get the hell out of here, right? 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 So that's what we're doing. So I'm here. I'm also trying to finish this damn short story as well. And I'm almost there. I feel it. I feel by the by the time I'm, I hit the bottom of this page, I should be done.
Don't you double dog dare me, Chad Hoey. Now I'm going to have to finish it, you son of a bitch. You knew exactly, you knew exactly what you were doing. Oh, goodness.
I'm getting towards the end, and I'm getting towards the next page, too. So, breaking with 3,901 words. So, probably another 100 words or so. This, this bad boy will be done. Then I need to edit it. Probably give it to a uh, beta reader or two real quick. Have them to finish it the next day or so. And then... Uh, off to the uh, publisher and hopefully it gets accepted. I have two other um, two other ones crime thriller um, stories that I also um, found on Do a Trope that I will also be writing. One of them they want 2,500 words like exact and the other one they want 200 words max. That one should be fun to write. I probably won't write that on Twitch, I would imagine. Maybe I will, who knows. There's Mr. Frank. Done. Done. Story done. And I'm happy. Chapter done, Tom. Awesome. Awesome work. Good. Good. I can jump into that uh, later this afternoon. So at 3 p.m., 
I have therapy until quarter to four or so. Then I will probably <laughs> double dog done. Yeah, Chad, it's done. All right, all right, Mr. Howie. You thought you beat me? I beat. I beat me. Nobody makes me bleed bleed, bleed my own blood. Nobody. I um. I will jump into that one later today or tonight, Tom Duffy. I do have to read. I read. I do have to watch one or two. Um, noir movies i have them all set up until sunday i've watched the movie all the way so i only have like three up or something i did not watch any yesterday i watched some science fiction movie about these six people maybe on a spaceship and right near mars is a giant black sphere <clears throat> and they're sent there to figure out what it is. And the lead lady's been in a bunch of science fiction. She's an older, older woman. Like older, like maybe in her 50s. Not pigs in space. You would think that, but not that. Not as high tech. Anyway, she had great, great, great boobs and a really nice ass. And, um, and I watched that last night. It was something about... God or something. I don't know. It was a prime movie. It was like, you know what? I'm just going to watch a random science fiction movie. Because really, the documentaries, I'm like, I don't, I don't know any of these I really want to watch right now. So anyway, I watched that. And then I tossed and turned all night. Roadhouse. No, very close. Very, very, very close. So the funny, I have a funny roadhouse roadhouse story kind of not really a story every now and then i get people who send me emails either for armcast or mondo method podcast or um uh, lunch ladies a book club podcast now all these podcasts have been gone at least a year okay some of them longer but i still get people who will just randomly send a message and say, oh, I would love to be a guest on your podcast. Well, Lunch Ladies Book Club never had anybody as guests on their on the podcast. So they're not even, look, they're just sending out the same freaking message, the random thing. And this lady sent a message yesterday. And I told my wife, I said, hey, you got to restart your podcast. Because a woman that said she is a Patrick Swayze expert. That is her claim to fame. Patrick Swayze expert and she's doing the podcast interview rounds talking about the new Roadhouse movie and I thought that's a weird thing to do right that just seems I don't know that seems kind of odd like that's your claim to fame is that you know everything about Patrick Swayze and so a movie a remake of a Patrick Swayze movie, you want to go on podcasts and talk about it. it. Seemed odd. But anyway, I said, well, you got to start your podcast up again. <laughs> and she's like, no. Then, of course, I say, well, obviously you saw Roadhouse. Everyone's seen Roadhouse. She's like, no, I never saw that. I'm like, oh, I'm like, you're, actually, you're lucky. Roadhouse is awful. This new one looks awful. So I will not be watching Roadhouse. I just thought that was funny. Yeah, every now and then I get, oh, I would love to be on your podcast. Oh, cool. That's cool. My podcast has been over for like two years. So, whatever. Pain, pain don't hurt. <laughs> that movie is like so... Now, see, now listen, I love some, some Patrick Swayze stuff. I mean... I mean, I saw Ghost. Red Dawn is uh, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm jumping on the bandwagon starting one. Go ahead. I mean, there's only like 12 people that don't have a podcast. So now there'll only be 11. 
just a lot of it's just a lot of work. But you know what? I'm sure all of us would listen to Hoey Hoey Goat's podcast. And today my special guest is Goat Number Seven. Tell us about yourself, Goat Number Seven. That Red Dawn remake was probably one of the worst movies of them. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. The only redeeming feature at the time, Josh Peck was in it from, from Drake and Josh. And now, watching his videos, like, it was always, um, my kids watched uh, Drake and Josh. So, then, of course, I watched it with them. And, um, and then it's like, oh, he was the little fat kid who did a couple of fat kid movies. And then he all of a sudden lost all that weight. And then the other one was a freaking nutcase. So it's like, oh, everybody loves, everybody loves Josh, and Drake is just a fucking asshole. And now it turns out they're both assholes. They're both psychotic. It's an inter it's an interesting concept, you know what I'm saying? Interesting. I'm I'm really happy that this short story is done, though. I really am. I'm I am very happy. I got this shit finally done, and. Uh, Nine days ahead of schedule. So I will send this in and hopefully... The problem is they're doing 12 different 12 different songs for the anthology. And obviously one story for each song. So hopefully the song I picked, there's not, you know, 200 people who have sent stories in for it. And hopefully my story is good enough. If not... Not wasted, it would become a Patreon story, or eventually it could be in one of these short story collections coming up. Stop. What are you doing today? I was gone all morning, and this cat now is just all over me. Won't leave me the hell alone. Like, I was gone for like three hours. Relax. She's really missing Shelly here. Because I don't give her a, a quarter of the attention that she believes she deserves. Now she's eating crumbs of food off of my, off of the rug underneath me that I've dropped over the, uh, over the last few days. Good. No, I don't have to. Now I don't have the vacuum. So my um, sister-in-law was supposed to be home this weekend. But now it looks like they won't do the, um, uh, they've, so they've, they've kicked the guy out of the house finally. They've changed the locks. He came back and tried to say that it was not, she was not who she was and he had permission to live there. So the cops came back and basically threw him out and said, if you come back, we're going to arrest you. So she, they changed all the locks, but now... The insurance adjuster has to come on Monday because he broke windows, he ripped out walls, he sold everything she owned. Um, you know, he cha he changed the locks. He threw all of, he threw a uh, some of her stuff into the yard. He, um, I guess, he had a um, a crack party, and people were were pooping all over her clothes and all over the just uh, just totally disgusting so now she's got to wait until monday to get an adjuster in so she can uh, get a claim and all this other stuff so and she's got to work which means she might just stay another week which means my wife will stay another week at her mother's which sucks because this has been a shitty week for me and, uh, and I get another week of it. So that will take her. What is today? 22nd? So she might not be back till like Easter Sunday, right? But then who knows how long she's going to stay before she goes back. Although I can't really see her going back because she has no furniture there. And she would need that money first. So she might be back for a week or two. And then go back. But I have a couple of book uh, book signings coming up in April, including AuthorCon, which we're going, even if she's here or not, we have people covering uh, to watch 
uh, Shelly's mother. So for that, uh, those days that were gone, which is good. So all good. All of it. So that's it. That is it. Anybody got anything else? Anybody got anything exciting they're doing this weekend? I literally will be doing nothing. It is raining today, very hard at times. 66 degrees, cloudy right now. Light drizzle. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow and it's supposed to stop on Sunday and then get cold on Sunday for a day. So I don't think I'm going to be leaving the house. I mean, maybe my wife will pop over or something, but um, I have no idea if I'm going to be on Twitch. Yesterday I was going to be on, but I'm going to be honest with you. Yesterday was a very bad mental day for me. I didn't want to do anything. Holy crap, there's a big cat out there. The cat was a fucking huge. You got to put a saddle on that. Okay, this is like the cat from He-Man. The big cat. You missed the cat. You're sitting right there, dumbass. The cat was right outside. That probably was your mother or your father. So, I will not be doing much this weekend. Is what, I, is what I'm telling you. I might be on. I might be playing my baseball game. I might be playing Minecraft. I might get some writing in. My goal is, obviously I just finished the story, my goal is to uh, write the next chapter that uh, Tom and I are working on that book, which will be good. So, who knows? Who, who can say? All I know is, um, I'm going to wrap this up now and uh, go to the bathroom. Thanks for hanging out with me today on this wonderful, positive Friday. I will, see every, I will definitely see everybody on Monday. And more than likely at some point this weekend. So have a great weekend.